What's up guys, Chris here, and this is another video in the Star Wars The Old Republic beta series. So today I'm going to be showing off um, what it looks like when you're actually questing in the game, um, and how various story-driven quest phases work. So uh, I'll show you guys what happens when you accept quests in-game from the overworld area. Anywhere. It's your first turf This first area I'm starting on you is Huda, and if you'll notice that this character no, has a quest he's ready to give me. Breathing the air is when I right click to on him, I'll engage in dialogue with him, and this will Learn the routes start a short cutscene with the player while it's interactive, work. much you like the other scenarios. You look pretty tough, but let me give you a word of advice. Watch your back out there. Learn how to please the people in charge, and as soon as you can, get out. I don't plan to stay any longer than I have to. You got a good head on you then. Just hope that when you're ready to leave, you still can. There's a gang war raging out there right now. If you want to survive on Hutta, you're gonna have to learn the ropes. I can get you experience navigating Hutta's gangs, help you build your reputation, if you help me out. Of course, there's always a catch. This is a gangster town, controlled by a greedy and cruel hut named Nemro, as if there was any other kind. Used to be I worked for Nemro's gang. Violent, bloody life. That's why I left. But now, my little brother's following my footsteps. Nemro's street gang leader, Rex Gear, is my old buddy. I thought he might help get my brother out, but I can't get to Rex for all the fighting. Some big, tough gangster you turned out to be. I've been out of that life a long time now, and I'm not so young anymore. The problem is, Nemro's enemy, Fathra, has my buddy Rex and his men pinned down. Fathra's gang are more like animals than people. If you could blast your way through them and talk to Rex, convince him to let my brother go, I'd be grateful. And what exactly do I get out of it? I mean, besides a reputation. I told you what you stand to gain in terms of reputation, but if that's not enough, I think I can swing some credits. You got yourself a deal. Glad to hear it. You'll find Nemro's boys holed up in Jaguna, but you're gonna need to fight through Fathra's thugs, so be careful. Now that I've accepted that quest, I'm also gonna move over here to this droid, who you can see is also offering a quest, and take one from him. I'll listen, for now. I suppose I can do that. Alright, now that I've taken my quests, it's time to actually go do them. Now both of these quests that I'm going to be showing off are optional quests, meaning that you do not have to do them to progress in your character development. Now I know what you guys really want to see is some gameplay, so here goes some, but I want you to pay attention to that red um, sort of portal off to the right of this building. Give a better view of it in just a second. See that red wall right there? That indicates a phase, and I'll talk more about phases when I come up on my story phase in just a few minutes. So enjoy the gameplay of me completing these optional quests.
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is story phases. If you notice this kind of green wall, um, this indicates a phase area. This means that only one type of my character, which is a bounty hunter, can enter here. You'll notice these phases all over, and if you remember, the red phase was an Imperial Agent phase. Um, you cannot enter phases for uh, other characters unless you have that character in your party, and only one type of that character can be in your party as this does progress towards your character's story. So here I'll go ahead and enter my green phase, and you'll see it will say, Owner Tavion. This indicates that I am the only bounder hunter who is getting credit for this particular story driven quest. Alright, another one quick thing I want to talk about for this quest is the bonus mission objectives. If you just noticed when I killed him, it did say that I completed a bonus objective. So, different from some of the other games is these bonus objectives, which I really like. Um, if you're familiar to some MMOs, they require you to kind of grind and kill characters. Um, but in this one, it is bonus. It's optional for extra XP. So that's a quick breakdown of questing. Um, more videos are on the way, so give this a like, favorite, and subscribe.